What's up guys, Iron Andy here, back again. Yes, it is time for another Sims 4 video. Now, I have not been involved in the Sims community for a very long time. The last video I put up seemed to spark a lot of controversy and a lot of conversation in some of the Facebook groups that I'm a part of that I really didn't realize was a thing. People in the Sims community are not happy with some of the new packs that have come out and the speculation of the new one. One thing was alarmingly clear to me. It's more important than fun items or destinations or gameplay. It's better skin tone representation for people of color. Sims 4 started out with 25 skin tone swatches and keep in mind that around 36% of those are colors like blue and green. In 2018, they added 10 additional skin tone swatches for darker tones that generally weren't that great. The Sims community did not like those colors at all. Sims 4 has been around for six years and we still don't have good skin tone representation. For a game that prides itself on inclusivity, I think they've really missed the mark. Some people aren't able to represent themselves, but hey, you can make yourself a blue genie. So many YouTubers out there have already lent their voice to this conversation, so why would somebody like me with a significantly smaller audience decide to talk about this? I wanted to take my years working in the film industry as a 3D animator and look at the technical aspect of what it would take to actually achieve this in game. Now, I'm going to get a little nerdy with you in a little technical, but stay with me. This conversation is very important. The principles of color are very basic and very easy to understand. You have three primary colors, red, green, and blue. When mixed together, those colors make other colors. Red and green mix to create yellow, red and blue mix to create purple, and so on. The more of one of those that you add in changes the overall result. Let's use this color here for example. Now some of you may refer to this as a muted coral or a salmon. The name of it doesn't matter for this and why I'm spending time talking about the name is irrelevant. Now the recipe to make this color is as follows. Red, 204. Green, 102. Blue, 102. The computer takes those numbers, crunches them all up, boom! There you go. You've got your muted coral or salmon. Again, I don't know why I'm focusing on the name aspect of it. Anytime I had a director of a film ask me to change the color of a 3D object, it was a few keystrokes away. Now, I know that focuses mainly on how the color is made by the computer, but if a user inside of Sims 4 wants to create a custom swatch, there needs to be a UI or user interface to be able to put those numbers in and create the swatch. If only we had some kind of base UI inside of Sims 4 to be able to, I don't know, take some of that code, repurpose it, and put it in the game. Oh wait, we do. Little Simsy in her video shows that with pets, you can already do this. And you can even choose a specific color to write anything you want on the pet. This upsets me, not just because there's already some code in place for the developers to start building some kind of UI for skin swatches for human Sims, but I could have been writing dingus on all of my dogs. What have I been doing with my life? Little Simsy has made a lot of great points in her video, including why it shouldn't be the responsibility of the mod community to create these skin swatches for us. She does a way better job explaining it than I ever could, so I included the link to her video down below. Please check it out. Obviously, just porting over that UI system so that users can choose better options for Sims skin tones takes time and I'm not trying to downplay the amount of effort it would take by developers either. I also know there's a financial cost to EA for this, but isn't it worth it? Isn't it the right thing to do? It's not like this is a new issue. Representation has been an issue for so long, especially now more than ever, there is no excuse for companies not to do this. You may say, if companies do this, they're just capitalizing on current trends. 
They don't deserve praise. And I'm not saying that they do. I'm just saying that this should be something that is already thought about, that is already put in place. This shouldn't be something that we have to talk about anymore, but unfortunately it is. We need to hold them accountable for things that should be done automatically, especially in a game where you create yourself. There's a petition that I've signed with change.org and that petition is to get more skin swatches and a color wheel added to Sims 4. I've included the link down below. Please go do that. I've already mentioned this before, but to take it a step further, why would a stupid, straight, white male with an Iron Man helmet on his head decide to be talking about race in The Sims 4. A lot of you might think I'm just doing this for the views because it's trending. I'm doing this because it's the right thing to do to have this conversation. Because silence is not an option. I used to have the mentality that anything I put online that is a representation of myself has to be kind and not alienate people. And what I realized is that silence is worse. I realized in the light of George Floyd that I have not been paying attention. That I've had the mentality of, if I'm just nice to people, maybe, maybe that'll make a change. If I'm just kind. But being kind means doing the right thing. And so many people have lost their lives just because they're black. And I can't be silent anymore. I have to speak up. And I know this is a stupid, trivial thing. The Sims 4 and skin tones. Why do we even care? Why do I care? It might not be that important to me, but to a little black girl that wants to make herself in a game that's designed for you to make yourself, that's important. That can have a profound effect on a child. If they can't express themselves, if they can't be who they are, we don't think about these things, especially me, a white guy. We have to be conscious that there are people behind the screens. Companies need to be conscious that there's a user that if they can't create themselves, they're gonna feel terrible. They're gonna have an emotional reaction. And if you put something into the world, you are then the arbiter of it. This might seem like a tiny insignificant problem, to you but if we can't take care of a tiny insignificant problem how are we going to fix the major problems in our society how are we going to affect massive change when it comes to race if we can't add stupid swatches skin tones for people of color I mean, come on look i love this franchise and i love the sims 4 community i haven't been involved for a very long time but what i've come to learn is that everybody is so kind and everybody wants to help each other and have fun and just be themselves black simmers have been crying out for this for so long wake up ea yeah you added 10 additional swatches they sucked the community told you they sucked in 2018 they told you they sucked I'm not trying to bash EA as a company, but I'm saying it's your responsibility, EA, to make this right. It's not the Sims community, it's not the mod community, it's your responsibility to do the right thing. Please do better. Give players of color the opportunity to represent themselves in this game and in all of your games moving forward. Thanks for watching this video and please share it. I'm not asking you to share it for me. I'm asking for you to share it so that we can make enough noise that EA has no choice but to listen. Head over to change.org and sign the petition and I'll see you in the next video. Remember everyone, I love you 3000.